and we can keep going through all of these. Let's go to Mike Hussey. Mike Hussey began his career for Western Australia as a very conservative, defensive opener. He would leave a lot of balls, he would take no risks, he would play few shots, and he would stay in for long periods of time. And it was found that he was just batting too slowly to actually take control of a bowling attack, and he was just allowing them to bowl to him. And so Western Australia were very upset that he was not building an innings in any sort of aggressive manner, even after he got himself in. He would just continue to bat slowly, and so he wasn't able to make... Uh, he wasn't able to solidify a spot in the Western Australian One Day team, and he wasn't even really considered a part of the Test team. A part of the, he wasn't really considered a part of the Western Australia First Class team because his batting was just so slow that it wasn't working with the Western Australian plans of building up an eleven. But he was able to turn his career around. Uh, But Hussey was able to turn his career around. He went over to England, uh, changed up his technique, built up a few more shots, and then by the time he made his one-day international debut for Australia, he was in his late 20s, and he had a whole range of shots, and he could score at a strike rate in the 90s, and he would score these half centuries not out, batting at number 6 or 7 or 5, and he would just score quickly, score lots of singles, then score boundaries, and the most dazzling and aggressive manner. And then he got into the test team, where he was able to also play aggressive and dominating and a whole range of shots. So, even after Mike Hussey developed a reputation of being such a defensive batsman that he was unusable in a first-class or one-day team, he was able to turn himself around and change up his structure and his style and his technique so that he became a different sort of player and he was able to get into the Australian one-day and test teams.